Travis Pearson getting the first runs of the morning. It was a little dicey, but it's going well, it's to going. get to the rope. I'm not sure what Campbell Kello was doing there, but... Oh, that's a terrific delivery by Siddle. And he finally gets his first wicket back in Victorian colours. It's taken him nearly 23 overs. Siddle to Clayton. Round the wicket. Oh, enticing the drive and happy to accept the invitation and showed up nicely. That's going to get to the rope. Oh, valiant effort to run that down. Almost be able to flick it back into play. But Mitch Perry is going to continue. Full of ball. It's well driven. Might not have got every piece of that Michael Nisa that he was after, but he's a strong man. It was well struck. He picks up his first boundary. It's not a bad way for Ross McGain to get off the mark. Okay. Look, it's definitely a case for... Oh, oh that was, again, fuller Hell and faster. Angling in at that middle stump, but well, well, well played from Nisa. It took it off the toes through mid-wicket, and that will get to the yeah. rope. Sutherland close to the body. Shot. Clayton cuts. Cuts superbly. It had been meandering along for just a little while for Jack Clayton, but he brings up his fifth boundary and he brings up his half century. Shot, yeah. On the golf course, Sutherland. Nisa, oh, that's a lovely off drive. Isn't it? He's looked to come forward at every opportunity. The on drive got him off the mark for a boundary and he moves along. Batting well out of his crease. Again, looking to cut and cutting oh. well. Got onto it early. Actually got it between the mid off. And cover. Clue up. Yeah, this different strategy here. Oh, going after that. And successfully going after that. It was risky again, but Michael Nisa has made his intentions very clear. We don't want Maybe to book the, it on the second of February. Day. Not that there's anyone going to both. Oh. oh, lovely ramp shot. So close to the body. Just helped it on its way up over the cordon. And another boundary in the over. Oh. McClure again, a little wide on the pitch. Oh, he's gone after that and got every bit of that and more. This game, they need to be batting sooner rather than later. Yep. Oh. Clipping this one, Nisa over the onside and out to the rope for four. And that is a half century again for Michael Nisa. Today, we see Perry come back. Oh. Edging and through the gap somehow as it... Smashes into the fence, third man. Rounder. Perry's going around the wicket to that man who has been loving anything short dished up to him. And he has sent that packing over the pavilion, I reckon. Nisa on 62. Oh. He goes again. Does he get him again for the full amount? You better believe it. Over the wicket now is Perry. You'd think this would be fuller. No! It was a bit short of length. And Nisa <laughs> is having a field day at the expense of Mitch Perry. And it will be Mitch Perry to deliver that. Full toss, driven, full face of the bat. That'll get to the rope. So, reaching oh, no out one. for this. He's been able to steer that superbly through the gully. Queensland and Michael Nisa have been exceptional. Clayton this time lifts over the top of the offside. Terrific shot. That's also gone out to the rope for four. Clayton uses his feet, gets a thick edge over the top of the cordon for four more. Just over. He's really trying to lift the tempo for himself as well. He swings this one away on the onside into a gap for more. Jesus, happy with it. There was a man out in the deep as well, but Jack Clayton stood, delivered, and did not. Oh, Nisa oh. got a short one. Nick goes off the back of the bat. He's been caught. So that is the end of Michael Nisa. Peter Siddle taking his second wicket. So Clayton facing Murphy gets a short one, cuts it away and cuts it away firmly and cuts it away to the rope. They've brought the man up and Clayton says, thank you very much. Through that it was, was, we see this ball first. Will oh. Smith looking to drive and does get it through the gap. And will get it to the rope for four. It wasn't totally convincing, but it was effective. Around the wicket to Clayton on 99. He waits on that and he cuts that through and brings up his second Sheffield Shield century. It'll pull up in front of the rope. 
but he will get back safely in his crease, take the helmet off, and raise the willow. Back into the attack, his right arm over to Wildermuth on 10. Oh, wonderfully played away. That was effortless. Get him up to five. <laughs> There's a shorter one. Wildermuth pulls that away. And the catch is taken. So we wondered when the next one and how the next one would come. McClure oh, he's gone the reverse, Sandu. And it's done it brilliantly. It. If you don't mind. No more milestones to bat for. Oh, that's a good shot from Clayton. Oh, clean that hit. sounded so good off the bat as it clears the pickets at mid-wicket. The last few O's of a T20 game. Or maybe... That's a good shot, isn't it? Look at that. There's no one down there. That's gone for four. four. He goes over the top. Oh, he's going oh. to be... Oh, he's out. He predicted it would be short. He got into position to try and scoop it over the top of the keeper. Sandu on 10. Oh, he hit that straight up in the air. McClure should take the catch, and he does. He's got three. And Sandu departs for 10. Queensland, nine down now for 501. 800s. Harris, lovely shot. Brilliant shot through the offside. Out to the fence for four. Yeah, there looks to be a bit of steam coming out from the helmet. And once again, it's that off-cutter. Of Michael Nisa. Nisa over. His figures of one for two are exceptional. Again, bat on ball for Callaway. Lovely on drive. Beat Sandu. Will it get to the rope? Yes, it will. Nice way to get off the mark from Campbell Callaway. Yeah, well, he's been sitting behind Nessa, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, Coming shot. forward to drive. Punching that through covers is Marcus Harris. And he gets the boundary of his own. Harris on 10. And straight away he's out. What a piece of bowling from Mark Steckity. Form is going to continue. He bowls to Hanscom, who's edging it over the top of slips. And down to the rope for four. Oh, and is that edge? Yes, it is. It was only a matter of time. It's been building. It's been building. It's been almost so many times. And finally it is. Mid on, mid off, cover. Square leg. Play and a miss. That is the edge. This time, absolutely. It had been building again. Steckity from one end. Toiled away. Sutherland on strike. To Willoughby. Shorter staff. Oh, was it a little top edge? Maybe some glove. Sutherland will live to tell the tale, and that will be four runs. Hanscom on 20. That's there to be Shots. driven. Shot of the day for Pete Hanscom. From a Victorian point of view, perfectly played cover drive. 23, the Victorian skipper. Well, now he's getting in Low. on the action. That's going to beat the mid off. That should get to the rope as well. So the run's just starting to come now for Victoria. Another. Oh, is that a catch? Oh, it's paid off. Brilliant field placing. Brilliant bowling. A catch. He looks pretty natural under there, though. Oh, oh, Harper's been bowled. And Swepson's on a hat trick. Effective, you know, Shane Warne. Swepson to Perry. Oh, has that oh. got a little something on it? I think he has. Wildermere takes the catch at leg slip. Again, Pearson's captaincy on point. Murphy has a lash at that, and it's going to be a successful lash. Thrashes it through cover for four. I reckon Brings 100 up two. I reckon. Steckity to Murphy. Last ball of the day, it would appear to be. And that's time. And, and that is Stumps on day three. At one stage, it looked like Victoria might not see Stumps on day three.